this is called Sweep the Leg. breakfast Beckett um, a coffee that was it mm. yeah. I had fried eggs very nice on toast and like the yolk was runny very nice oh, oh. No, S- sausage egg and chips I'd, runny I'd, yolk I'd, and chips oh chip yes oh. Need lots of salt and pepper on I know it's really bad for you I know it shortens oh, your life but yeah. talking to a chain smoker <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally necking a bottle of whiskey and smoking taps <laughs> I've ever had chip space where I'm from there's uh, this orange uh, salt and paprika dried tomato thing that you put yeah, on yeah. and I've got everything oh chip rub chip spice it's chip spice it even it's even says chip spice it's amazing we'll get we'll make sure we'll get like next time we see you we'll make sure we have like a little chip spice yeah it was just gonna look like the worst drug deal in the world isn't it it's like hey come over here what i've got your chip spice Ooh. yeah well i've got american chip spice so um hello 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 Oh. Your mouth. Yeah, it's a hair, I think. Can you? I got it. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> got it. <laughs> you kids with your cool hair. Oh no. What yeah. happened? No. <laughs> I think well. you have this prop that problem. Okay. Now um we go all professional. Oh, okay. What? Hello. <laughs> no swearing this time. A little bit. A little bit of swearing you can because you're not on the streets and no exactly, kids. Yeah. Just I mean the door is still like don't, don't, like, don't say anything you don't want to be representative exactly. of you. Yeah. All right, crashing in podcasts, and today I'm with Hey Hey Alimo. Again, you wouldn't know that, but this is the second time we recorded a podcast. And do you want to talk about why? <laughs> because we were very dehydrated, and then had lots of free beers, and then thought it was a good idea to be recorded, and it was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Basically, we- that's, that's, that's that's what the story is, and we're sticking to that one now. Yeah. Probably would have got you banned from all social media platforms if you'd have released yeah, it. Probably, yeah. Or at least been trigger warnings yeah. all over. But it was really fun to record. I, I, it was probably one of the best podcasts I think I'd done. And I was, I was excited about uploading it. But then at the same time, I was like, this could be the end of me. <laughs> and this is the um, PG version, PG 15. Well, yeah. 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 Oh. So, you just done an in-store at Stylish Records, so what was your thought on the gig? Loved it. Yeah. It was really good fun. Yeah. It was really nice. Yeah. Probably the best sound we've had at yeah. a gig. <laughs> Through a vocal PA with amps on the street. But yeah, no, it was wicked. Really enjoyed it. Mm. Had a really good, yeah. really nice time. Yeah, big fun. Good good crowd in Wolverhampton. Yeah. I, I feel like... The louder it is, the more people it draws on the street. Like it was like it was pretty much empty, and like I don't know, at the start of the set, it was like there's no one there. But as soon as you started making noise, and you was fucking going mad on the drums, <laughs> like people were like, 
or stopping even like pensioners I, I'm, there's nothing against pensioners but I weren't expecting pensioners to be into it to be honest <laughs> in all fairness I'm closer in age to them than I am you yeah, so. <laughs> so yeah we are all essentially pensioners here aren't we well this is what happens in life so um, you just released an album recently uh, when was the album released self identify that Sorry. was October yeah, of last November, year yeah. so October, October. six months ago now then yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So how did that go down? And I remember I was lis- I listened to it beforehand, and I think it's fucking brilliant. I like the track "Dick," or is it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is it your dick or what? Dick. Is it? Dick. dick. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> and um, oh, sweet leg. Sweet the leg. Sweet the leg. Yeah, that's yeah. One, another favourite of mine. Did I use? I think I use that on one of the adverts. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fucking great track. Um, so like, do you want to talk about how that album went down for you guys, and what's your favourite track on the album, and to perform? Um, favorite track to perform on the album. It changes because, mm. like, I love playing pop song because yeah. it's just like I get to do a bit of fretboard wankery, which makes me look like a better guitarist than I am. Um, and Harvey's always fun yeah, to play. I mean, Harvey's my favorite to play. I quite like playing Harvey. Sweet legs fun to play yeah. as well because it's so simple. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> it's just so good, man. Daft. It's so effective as well, man. <laughs> It totally depends as well because sometimes we drop them in and out of the set. So if we've if we've uh, sort of played one a few times in a row, yeah. switch out for something else, and then that's our favourite one mm. just because it's fresh. But you have to like do a PG set at um, the shop just. So like, what was that like for you guys to like keep your mouth shut and? Um, cut some lyrics out and shit we, like ju- we just cut whole songs out because really? we were like well, there's no way that we're not going to be able to swear so we were like right we're just going to like yesterday we literally went through and we were like can't do that one can't do that one does this one Craig does this one have that many swear words fuck cunt shit bastard okay and <laughs> Can't do that one either. It was literally just like going through and just getting rid of half of our songs because we were like can't do that one can't do that one can't do that one <laughs> You just say count instead of cunt. Yeah, but I don't think I, well I certainly wouldn't trust myself to do well, that. The problem with that is Brentford are playing Wolverhampton Wondrous today and if any Cockneys or Brentforders heard us saying count, they'd probably think we were You're saying, saying cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so like and, oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't film me, man! Yeah, what the hell? Me, man. <laughs> he was improvising his solo monologue. So sorry. We love you, Dave. We love you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so how did you go down the album anyway when you released it? Yeah, people seem to enjoy it, mm. which and is. Many nice. gigs after that, like, with the release Yeah, of the album. we've done a few, sort of. We forced ourselves onto quite a lot of bills yeah, just yeah, to yeah. try and shift some records, and it hasn't really worked yet. <laughs> Shameless plug number one. Yeah, <laughs> you, recently, the record. you recently done one of the Clarendon as well, and that was in Wolverhampton. Yeah, so, like, what yeah. was that like for you guys? That was really good fun, really yeah. good fun. Like, Rob Fellows yeah, put yeah. it on Cellar Rooms, from Cellar yeah. Rooms, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just a really nice vibe, wasn't it? It's yeah. like. Who were the other bands? Rosa, 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 Rosa Ka- Calum? Calum? Is it Calum or Calum? Calum, thank you, Adam. Were they the headliners? Yeah. And it was. Band in the middle. There was that guy on first doing his sort of solo set, but with a band. I cannot remember. And do you know what? I'm pretty. Wasn't I driving? Was I sober that night? And I can't actually yeah, remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes. This just shows. See, this is what I see. Old pensioners. Mm. Poor memory. <laughs> yeah. It was good. Yeah, like, it was, it was, it was a, a really mixed bag of stuff yeah, on it, and it was kind of something for everyone in that. Yeah. Yeah. More on, I would say the indie side of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did some amazing covers. Like oh, their uh, cover of Creep was amazing. Yeah, my Iron Lung. That's it. Really. And it was like, how have you nailed that? Was that them that did that? Or was it the the band no, it was before them? Was it them? Because you went up afterwards and were chatting to the guitarist about like guitar stuff. Oh yeah, he bought a lot. He bought a few pedals from um, Jim Zorn of. Uh, that was it. Black Country Recording Company. I don't noticed a few of them on his board. I've got a few. We recorded some stuff with another band with him, and so did Greg. So yeah, yeah. keeping it local on the pedal board. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So like, um, is this your second gig in Wolverhampton? Is hey, I'm like, hey, Alamo. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. So would you consider coming back to Wolverhampton soon? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you like the crowd in Wolves and that? Yeah, I think yeah. there's a, well, I think there's more of like a classic rock and metal scene here than there is in. 
Birmingham these days. Birmingham, I think, is going a bit more indie and psych, isn't it? Right. Depends. It depends which pubs you go to. That's if you go down true. Scruffy's, Subside, Devil Dog, whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, like, we played yeah, a Subside as um, yeah, Bitter Lemons. Yeah, we did. We did a bit of Lemons, yeah. And that was like rockabilly and a ro- hard rock. I know, yeah. Kind of thing. It's quite, it's kind of, quite funny. It's quite cool, but, yeah. though. Like, it kind of changes. I bet that really changed the vibe in there. I, apparently, there were metalheads at the back who absolutely loved a little bit of garage and rock and roll, exactly. So. Because rockabilly was the original rock and roll. They just know their musical history. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, no, but I, I was, it's always good to come to Wolverhampton, I think, isn't it? I think. And what was it like? Was it first, well, it's your second in store here, it but was. like, as like a band, Hey Alimo, like, what was it like doing an in store, like, in a record shop? And was it your first one in the record shop? I've played in record shops yeah. before. No and one asked him to, he just decided yeah, to I play just turn up <laughs> with oh, a, really? No, I've done in stores before. Oh, okay. But. It's always a mixed bag because you never quite know how set up the venue will be. Mm. Whereas it, it really works. Oh, ah. here's our Noddy. Hello. 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 Hey, come on, feel the noise. <laughs> well, you're calling me no Noddy, fella. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Bab. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for disturbing us. I was in the zone then. Yeah. So what was he talking about? So like, let's talk about the albums actually. Yeah, yeah. you've got picked up albums in the record shop. This is what we've done last week. So like, what albums have you picked and why is that? You can go out. You go first. I spotted um, Hot Hot Heat's album um, Make Up the Breakdown. Um, this came this came out when I was in. Um, you were looking uh, at it like, like you've Ellie. never seen the record. <laughs> you like, uh, I'm, I'm, this, I this record I know much. really well called. It's just the only. It's, the... it's the only Hot Hot album I've ever bothered with, and I fucking loved it. It came out when I was in like early um, sixth form, and I remember I used to buy Mojo, and they had um, a CD on the front, mm. and it looked like an old seven inch, and it was full of old like punk stuff. Yeah. Um, one single off this was on it, which was kind of strange, but that introduced me to a lot of stuff like X Ray Specs, The Damned. Mm. Mm. Uh, Buzzcox at the time, it yeah, was completely yeah. ignorant of, and yeah, I just associate that with the discovery of other stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I went to see him at Leeds, um, because I'm from East Yorkshire. Yeah, went, went to see him in Leeds, I can't remember what it was, uh, under the arches somewhere. Um, and we, me and all my mates from school went, um, on the train, got the last train back. And I remember we we're at the front, like fucking stupid little fanboys, and I caught his sweaty towel and I took it home. And my mum found it the next day and washed it. And I was like, <laughs> It's just a towel now. No, it's just how, a towel how can now. I masturbate to this towel now? It no longer smells of my but, idol, Steve Bays. But, but at this point, completely understand that that's quite a weird thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, Hot oh, Heat, this album um, is absolutely filled with bangers, just absolute classics of that era. Timeless. Um, I picked up St. Vincent. Uh, Daddy's home. Um, Never listened to it for myself. Oh, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. See, musical kind of cuts connoisseurs, isn't it? Um, but yeah, but mainly because I just fancy Annie. Um, but also because I, I, but to be fair, I've got I think I've got every single one of her albums. You actually introduced me to Saint Vincent when we first started dating, didn't you? I did. Um, but yeah, I just like I love like how everything's got like this. I don't want to say ethereal because that sounds a little bit wanky, doesn't it? But every single song or album that she does, it's almost it like it does take you somewhere. It's got a story. It's like you know each album like almost has like a dif- different theme. It's set in a different time, and it's mm. almost concept albums every single one. But you can still just go and just pick any song and just listen to it on its own as well. So yeah, I just think that's just what I absolutely love, yeah. and I love like the very kind of dirty sort of seventies, yeah, yeah, yeah. slightly kind of mm. funky. Mm like funk inspired stuff funks, on this yeah. on this album um, especially pay you away in pain just because it's it's a bit, bit of a dirty a bit yeah. of a dirty sexy song yeah. and when annie's singing that to you you're like yeah come on then <laughs> and we saw with david band didn't we it's, we uh, did end of, end of the road and i pushed many people out the way um with great force so you and jenny were like stood like further back and i was like i'm not standing in the middle for this. And i was just like kicking people out the way and i was like sorry i'm getting to the front just like was b- pushed everyone out the way and got right to the front of the barrier and then basically stood there for 40 minutes just going and just staring at her and like i don't even think i took any photos i was just in awe of her because i think she's amazing yeah, so yeah. if you're listening to this annie uh, my number is <laughs> did you catch david burns tower 
I didn't know Vox. He's quite a dry man. Didn't quite, need one. <laughs> quite a dry man. It's yeah. those big suits. They've got a lot of like breathing Doesn't room. Doesn't move much. I'm just going to check my parcel. And, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Just in case. It's Wolverhampton. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I'm just actually bad about it now, don't you? Uh, yeah, but I know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm from Wolverhampton. Well, I thought you were brave leaving that drum hardware outside for so long. <laughs> the tap man was going to come and get it. So, finally, what's your album of choice? Or oh, it's, it's actually a 12 inch. Uh, it's La Tristessa Duera by Manic Street Preachers. Mm-hmm. See, no definitive. They are not the Manic Street Preachers, they are Manic Street Preachers. Mm-hmm. Or the Manics, if you're their friends, I guess. <laughs> but um, it's off it's off Gold Against the Soul, their second album. Um, I just love the songwriting. I love the way it starts with a, almost a motown sort of bass line. Sort of builds, 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 and then just halfway through, big guitar drop. Yeah. And there you go, bang, it explodes. Yeah. And when I was younger, going to indie discos, just as that drop happened, do a little scissor kick. Knock someone's pint out their hand and have a lovely evening. <laughs> There's an evil in this town. It's a kind that no one talks about. Except behind closed doors Negating to mention Effect and cause You sell your souls For tainted applause There's an evil in this town And it hides behind A charmless smile It plays upon the wind
So would you say the music you listen to in the past, like the record collection you have and stuff like that, is like inspired what you're playing Hey Ali Man? Uh, some of it. Um, Probably not Manuscript Creek, is it? Uh, maybe, no, li to it. maybe lyrically <laughs> sometimes, or some of the topics and subject yeah. matter we mm. cover. But um, I think with this band, the way it formed was me and Beck just went down to our lockup. Yeah. and drank a big bag of, ca bag of cans and wrote some really daft songs yeah. and then sort of like carried on from there. Mm. So it's... it's uh, like when the first lockdown had lifted and it was like you can have six people in a room and we wanted to think about putting gigs and stuff on again. But obviously we didn't want to have people in, that many people in the room. So we were like, oh, we'll do like a, like a virtual, Stream. like streamed gig. Mm. And we were like, right, well, we need to get some bands. And then we were like... Should we just do it? So you were like, well, just go up, just the two of us in the room, and we'll basically just form a band in an afternoon and wrote like six songs as like a, just to, to kind of practice this streamed gig. And then, what, like three years on, unfortunately, we're still making. <laughs> no one's no one's managed to convince us to stop yet. So there we go. So, like, um, how, how did you guys actually meet? I know you two were together, but like, how did you guys, like, I met Adam on a university course. Yeah, I in think about... you were on that course for about three weeks and then yeah, dropped out. Yeah, and then you just disappeared. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so I met Adam 2006 ish, yeah, so then, yeah. or thereabouts. And then you, you were in Birmingham, then you moved back to Beverly. Yeah, eight years later. That's where I met Beck, and then we yeah, ended up coming back, back down. down. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I met Beck yeah. through Adam. So, you know. So let's talk about your lyrics. Um, so this is when it probably get a bit yeah. saucy. Yeah, just, <laughs> this is the This is. Far. It's insidious. So, what? Are you, what? So, look, with your music. So, what do you tend to write about lyrically, and what? Why? You write about these lyrics and what's the reason? Well, I suppose it's a mixture between songs about Netflix shows yeah, I mean, through to songs about trans rights and misogynistic pricks needing to stop be as they are. Yeah, um, just like general politics yeah. and just corruption and, yeah, it just quite political There's stuff, isn't identity it? Identity politics yeah. in there, I think. Yeah, and yeah. Was there a Netflix show called Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Is that the track Umbrella? Yeah. Yeah. So, was that a track you hate? A song? I mean, a, a show you hated or? No, like, I, yeah. love it. I loved it. You loved yeah, it. I, loved it. Yeah. I never watched it. What was it about? Oh. It's based on the uh, Gerard Way comic book. Mm. He wrote it, didn't he? Well, yeah. What's the artist's name? This is really bad. But anyway, don't worry. Just we'll research it. We'll Google it. Yeah. We'll yeah. Add it in editor's yeah. note. Yeah. yeah. But um. Yeah. So why did you like decide to write about that particular Because we had no other ideas and oh, we needed to get we needed to be yeah. in the, the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, we, we needed to get a few songs out. We were like, right, okay, what should we write about? Well, uh, have you been watching a lot of Netflix? Yes, because it's because you've got to remember, like this was like after the first lockdown. No one had yeah. like we'd all lost all social skills. No one had any hobbies anymore. But we're like, I've just been basically sitting in the house drinking and watching Netflix. Right, okay, what Netflix shows mm -hmm. can we write about? So sweep the legs about Cobra Kai. Yeah. Uh, I never watched that yeah. as well. I, I, I don't. I'm not a TV show. I just guy. made assumptions. Yeah, he's a, he's a karate kid, though. Max on, Max on. I'm not big. I, is he, was he the eighties when that film? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the eighties yeah, films. Like, nice. I tend to like the more the sixties exploitation films and shit like. That. Yeah. They're fucking good, man. They're like really, fast it's sir, really. Cat kill, yeah. Russ Meyer stuff. But the thing is, it's or like, like Dario Argento. Never watched that. Oh, um, Dario I watched, Argento I've, films are great. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I, I like the cat in my brain. But I love how shit the acting is. <laughs> I like films that when they're like really shit acting. I don't know why. It's just I'm really cool. I know cool. why. I think you genuinely like Cobra Kai. Then. <laughs> oh, really? It's, really it's very cheesy. Yeah, but... It's very like you know almost oh. uh, you know like soap opera like. Yeah. <gasps> you yeah. know what I mean? Like when someone's shocked, like their whole eyebrows that like, move to the back of their head. Like. Yeah, <gasps> yeah but that's because they're all like 
former child actors who've had so much surgery, that's where they sit naturally now. Yeah, it's very, very cheesy and camp. It's yeah. not a serious show at all. The, cheesy, the cheesier, the better, really. Yeah, yeah. That's why do, I, that's why do you I tend like to go a bit cheesy with your lyrics and stuff like that? Like, Some of them we are. Like, obviously, for things like... It's tongue-in-cheek, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's but, not taken... Even the serious subjects are taken... Try, we try to give them a light touch, mm. unless... We're really calling something out, then we might go in with lots of sweary swears <laughs> because we're very, very angry and we we want to smash the system, man. <laughs> Did I just turn into John Lighter? Why don't you carry gold butter quick? We get the advertiser. You fucking rotter, you dirty Sorry. sod. <laughs> so, like, what's upcoming next with Hey Ali Man? What's your plans and gigs and shit? So we are playing a gig next Wednesday at the Victoria in Birmingham. This might not be out by then. Oh right, so yeah. we're, we're, we 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 play the gig next Wednesday at the Victoria in Birmingham, and that'll be our last gig for probably three months yeah, or so. Because yeah. Beck is I'm having un- my top surgery, so I won't be able to drum for at least two months. Yeah, so. Yeah. Everyone gets a little bit of a break from what the, all three of the bands I'm in. So that's Looking be quite forward nice. to a break as well, like. No, not really. No, not really. Not. No, no. no. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you supposed to say no? Why do we sit in there but quiet? Was tempted to say yeah. <laughs> I, I just like the irony that Beckett gets on everyone's tits, and now they're having their tits <laughs> off. <laughs> Bit of bumps. <laughs> so, break, and have you got anything planned after the break? Yeah, we recorded um, some five yeah, songs anything, with um, Tom um, recently, didn't we? Yeah, so At his yes, of a goddamn yeah. fame. KK Steel. Is that KK Steel Mill? Was it? KK Great Steel venue. Yeah. Local venue. Well, was, yeah. Um, it was the studios upstairs, yeah, like upstairs where we did some recording. So obviously we're getting them. We've we've done all of like the the actual recording for it. We're just like the mix, the mix, mix and mastering master, stage. Yeah. So those will probably start coming out as well, like well, during the break. Right, as yeah, well, we're having we a little can light. We can record like videos and things for yeah, them. Yeah. We just obviously can't actually drum it for gives them. Time to start out some artwork as well while we're yeah. not too busy rehearsing and things. Is there anything you can reveal about the EP or no? I mean, you've heard quite a few. Lots of swearing. Hey, Ali Mal. As you've heard, like you heard quite a few of the songs today, didn't you? So yeah. Three of them, four of them. Self-identify, hypocrite, and ten days. But we didn't play Fight Night, Mm. which has got a lot of sweary swears. Very sweary, sweary. Why can we never remember? Oh, look around. Look around. Which, yeah. Which, which. That's probably the most political lyric we've done is, so far. It is very political. Would you one. say you change your sound much about, or I'd stick to the same roots? It's live. It c- fits in with the set. Yeah. Recording-wise, it's a lot rawer. Mm-hmm. It's not as polished as the album was. Uh, we wanted it to sound a bit more rough and ready, and more like the Stooges kind of sound. Or... It's got. Sort of like, I think in my head, it was like if L7 mm. were recorded via British technology in the mm. late 70s mm. I, and it came out on stiff records, oh, was sort of my idea in my head sonically. And I think it's kind of, it's yeah, got that Tom, sort of... Tom knew exactly kind of what we wanted. Like when we said, you know, this is the sort of stuff we like, like when we started playing, he was like, okay, actually, I know what you mean now. Yeah. And like, you know, at one point he was on... The, the floor wasn't he messing around with pedals in the middle of like Greg's Greg's playing guitar and he's on the floor and he's like you just keep going you just keep going and he's just like messing around with all these pedals and I'm just watching him like can I help would you like me to do anything a cup of tea or anything but yeah because I think he understood kind of what we wanted yeah. so so far what we've heard it's definitely a lot more yeah a lot more kind of raw raw, raw, raw and raucous yeah, yeah. there's film power. and fury on it yeah. sounds like I kind of thing <laughs> So is there any? Because I'm trying to remember the interview we'd done before and what kind of questions I asked. But is there anything 
that you like to add that we haven't spoke about that we mentioned on the last podcast that you could have mentioned? No, because we were shit faced when we did the last podcast. Even, yeah. And that was like three hours before we went on stage as well. We were brave. We was talking for ages, and if we didn't, if no one stopped us, we could have been like there now, kind yeah. of thing. Adam would have come on and gone, You do realise like you're supposed you were supposed to have been on, you've you missed your slot. Yeah. I've just had to do a half an hour bass solo. Well, oh, well that was the same with the modern literature one as well. We was like there for ages, weren't yeah. we? Like it's just some podcasts, with some podcasts like with some people in interview, you can just talk for ages. It's when it's yeah. at a pub and I get my drinking head on yeah. and it's like, I have my, my first one. And we were at the Spotted Dog, of course, in yeah, Digba, yeah, yeah. that does the best Guinness. A nice pub that was, I really yeah, like yeah. it. But it's just like, I had one, it's like, ah, oh. and then also Skip talks. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's, yeah. He can talk. And then, like, the pints will go down. It was nice weather. Yeah. Having a pint, having a fag, having a fag, having a pint, having a chat. Port scratchings. Oh, you yeah, remember port that? Scratchings, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a terrible human being, really. <laughs> um, modern literature, we have to sort something out here if you're up for it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, skips. This is like totally unrelated to what's going on. Okay. <laughs> skips, uh, miss, uh, girlfriend. I hate the phrase misses. Skip's girlfriend, but it just slips out sometimes. Skip's girlfriend, I'll get to the point in a minute. Skip's girlfriend is having a baby in the next week or so. Oh, yes. So again, it's going to be like a six to eight oh, week oh, yeah. break at mm. least. Or until he gets absolute cabin so, fever and wants to have a house. July, August time maybe. Yeah, because I was talking to him and he's like, oh, you know, it's going to be like six six eight weeks until i'm back right like right here and i, and I said to my dad, and i went like fuck it is me like after i think after a while the pair of them are going to be like please let me be out the house for like a day because like i don't i do not know anyone who has kids who are like after like a month or a bit was like please let me leave the house for a month like i you know i the parents to be fair were like please i just need i need it i just need a day away from all this so mm, it, it may end up being a bit closer yeah. you never know july is quite a funny time for gigs i guess like with festivals and mm. august and shit like that oh. but like i feel like with an in-store it's doable because it's outside and it's the in your face should be better as well shouldn't yeah, it should be nice let if we if we aim for a bank holiday weekend the weather will be great yeah, won't yeah, it yeah, yeah. Yeah. no it won't because it's a bank holiday weekend in britain <laughs> it'll just piss it, down. it might be all right isn't it buy a gazebo yes i know I buy know. two gazebos yeah. i say it every time a band plays I'm not just like, oh, that's something I need to do. I mean, we were all right. Like, you know, we got away with like, the rain today. So it's not complaining. Or you could put an awning on the front that yeah. pulls out. Cover for the band. And the audience. People are more like... Oh, I saw the audience. I've got, I've got the... Forget the little shit. people, darling. Could you think who I am? We're just wannabes, though, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the style. We're wannabes from Birmingham. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think we covered everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. I'm cool. Yeah, man. and thanks for doing the install. That was absolutely yeah, thanks great. Thanks for having us. Um, um, sorry for my podcast, I'm all over the place because I'm trying to remember like what we spoke about. Oh, I'm trying not to swear it. as well. I'm trying to get on the same level. <laughs> It's all right, it's all right, don't worry. The occasional worry about one's it. all right, isn't yeah. it? Like, you need some 60s retro sound effects from Batman to put over the swear words. Yeah. Like, thwack. Yeah. Thwack. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, thwack. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a 60s phrase for twat. <laughs> yeah. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> the editor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll thanks sort that out. out. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's do we do that. All right, thanks for joining me on the podcast once again. No problem. And thanks for doing the install. I'm really grateful for you guys coming over We're from really Birmingham. We're really grateful for you asking, man. Cheers, we had a lovely time. Yeah. yeah, and I'm definitely organising something with you guys in a venue so you can yeah. Loose, yeah. Like, be yourselves, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, no one wants that. <laughs> we'd all end up punching each other if we acted ourselves. <laughs> As in, we'd be punching each other. Not the, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be going for the audience. We'd be. <laughs> well, let's... Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> oh, let's keep that out of it, yeah. Cut that one. I'm nice. I'm I'm the nice one in this band, and which is weird because I'm not nice. And what's your slogan? Don't be a dick. Don't, Don't be, be a, a dick. dick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, after, is that going to be your inspiring quote? Yeah, basically, your easiest philosophy in life is. Don't be a dick. Mm -hmm. And everyone is a dick sometimes, but understand when you've been a dick and try and do something about it. Yeah. And if you can't do something about it, just don't be a dick again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, just yeah. fuck off to a little hole and just curl up into the fetal position. And yeah. slowly decompose. Or sit on the naughty step. 
Sit on the naughty step and think oh, about what I you've done. Know. Cutify penance. Oh, Cutify it's it's penance. it's that sounds like the most metal band name ever. Cutify. <laughs> we are. We're Cutify, Cutify penance. It's like oh, only eight sleeps till the naughty step. Fuck off, cunts. There we go. There's a swear. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say it was the 20th anniversary? Oh, oh brilliant! Yeah. Did you find it? No. Ah, oh, oh. balls. I went to go HMV. Not that I was going to buy it. I was going to go. Oh really? Okay. Can I just have the news? <laughs> no, if you're going to you HMV, you nick it. You take a razor with you and you cut the barcode off, and you. Oh, stop. <laughs> Carrying a razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love it. The, there wasn't the, obje <laughs> the objection there wasn't to cutting the barcode off if it was, it was the razor, razor blade. blade. <laughs> <laughs> then I wouldn't have in my purse. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Right, so I'm going to get right. Uh, just take it all on yourselves. Have a lovely day. I'm Thank you. Cool. Have a good one. Well. What you want to do? But I'll be thinking of you when yeah. I'm actually watching the flaming. Go in. Yeah. Go on. Oh. In London. Yeah. Go on. Very nice. Light some scented candles. Pour him a, bo a bottle of beer. Do I look like a scent? Uh, sorry. Do no. I look like a scented candle? Yeah, but he might be. It might calm him down. Uh, Pour him a bottle of beer. Put the soft bullet in her. In here, race for the prize. Or um. But she don't, don't use jelly on her. Does it, 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 it have just, to be your shimmy? Well, do you know what? We've got to get into the groove before we go down. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, listen to Hey Animal. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the shameless plug that we and should have actually done. Yeah. Where's the um, where's, where's, I'll where's take the it on. I'm where's, the <laughs> where's the merch bag? We've got a merch bag. <laughs> it's, it is a science priest bag for life. Oh, cool. There you go. Have that. That You'll love it. Yeah. yeah. It's better than the flaming tip. <laughs> yeah. Oh my back. god, look what I've done with the brown sauce off my bloody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I only watched this last week. Oh dear. It's alright. Look, it's on the right really side, right. it can only get better from I'll here I'll just walk around like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Promoting Hey Ali, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> all right, um, thanks for doing the podcast. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> That's staying in and off. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Ta-ra, a bit. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on, Bill. Oh. Lovely people. Wow. Uh, I'm dying. <laughs> Do you know what the funny thing is? I thought it was that case and not you. Why, why you didn't put something that people can put one pound? Huh? Oh, okay. We're cheap, mate. Oh, no. We're cheap. Very cheap. Very, very cheap. Okay, no problem. Just, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you just reminded me. I'm glad this man came. Get that money, give to someone. We need it.
you just reminded me of something. You. So, thanks to my friend here, I, I've remembered, we have t-shirts and we have albums for sale if anyone's interested. And if it yeah, wasn't for the this chat, we, we, we never would have remembered. Yes. <laughs> nice one, Dave. Someone need it. You don't need it. Finish, take it and then kill someone. Shut yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I put you in my pocket and friend, don't feel it. Okay. <laughs> I just put my money. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, if anybody wants to come and see us after. Yay! Do you want to manage us, dude? How is gonna slip your drugs? I didn't want to see it. How is gonna slip your drugs? Stop sneezing. How is gonna slip your drugs? Stop teasing. I'm right by the bed to the studs. Come on. 
copy that bad, no, we copy that bad Day and night, I'm feeling fine A day and ten, I'm a motherfucking smoker again